What's going on guys, it's Rob from Heroes Avenue. Uh, I'm gonna continue my coverage on the Batman here in this video because uh, right before filming this, there was a clip that was just released online that I wanna talk about. And it begs the question of whether or not we're getting too much from this film. Um, but I wanna quickly go over what this clip is gonna, uh, is gonna show us here. I don't wanna play it because our, our channel's gonna get flagged, but basically it's an extended clip of the funeral scene that we see in the trailers. But what's cool about it is you get a little bit more in the sense of where Robert Pattinson or Bruce Wayne's mindset is here. He's, um, he gets, uh, he gets this, he kind of looks at this kid and obviously Bruce Wayne going through all this trauma, uh, in his past can really relate to this kid and his feelings of loss. So that's what you kind of get here. And at the same time, he's also listening in on, uh, Jim Gordon and, um, kind of, uh, the conversation he's having with this officer here. I want you guys to check it out yourself. Um, uh, but after that, there's this impending doom that you feel and there's a bunch of commotion. People start to chatter and you feel like something's about to happen. And obviously we've seen what happened in the trailer, but while everyone's freaking out, the only other two people that are not freaking, freaking out is Bruce Wayne here and here the shot of the Riddler. Um, and right before that, he he takes a look at the kid because obviously it shows his concern for the kid. But then you see Riddler. Uh, I mean, not yeah. You see Riddler, uh, shadow here. Uh, he's the only one not freaking out. Very suspicious. And uh, then you see Bruce go to save this kid. And we've seen this all in the trailers. But the cool part about this is that where you feel like where you feel like they're going to give you a little bit too much. You know, you're you're trying to you're going to want you're wondering whether or not he's going to go up to that envelope. Obviously, he's the Batman. The trailers make it seem like the Riddler knows he's the Batman, but the clip kind of ends right there and doesn't give away too much in terms of where this movie's gonna go. But I really love this clip because of the intensity of the scene. Uh, it just it just feels like it's hitting the right tone uh, for this Batman movie. And really, I really love that that aspect with him just looking at the kid, those subtle things right there really give you a glimpse into his mindset, even though they're not actually saying it. So really love this clip. Begs the question of whether or not we're getting too much from this movie, but I have a tweet here from Big Screen, Screen Leaks that gives us a little bit or puts us a little bit at ease. It says, I know multiple people who've seen the Batman. Not only did all of them say it's fantastic, but they all mentioned that the trailers do a good job of hiding the plot of the film. You guys are in for a treat. That was my biggest criticism of the Bat and the Cat trailers that, wow, I was sold on this movie already, but you're giving me a lot. And I don't even know if I needed this because I want to go in kind of not knowing exactly what's going to happen. And luckily, according to this guy, uh, we can put those fears at ease. So let me know what you guys think about the trailer, or I'm not sorry, not the trailer, the clip in the comments down below. If you made it this far on a scale of one to 100, 100 being the highest, how hype are you guys for this movie? Let me know in the comments down below. Thank you guys for subscribing and watching. I'll catch you guys later. Peace.